Hey everybody, this is the fourth year, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a chiptune blip sound using Citrus in FL Studio. So here are a couple examples of the type of sound I'm going to be showing you how to make. And I will be showing you how to do that in Citrus. So to get started, you first want to load up a new instance of Citrus and open the default preset. And then you want to set the wave shape of operator 1. In my opinion, it sounds best to use a square wave, but you can play around with using other waveforms if you want. And I'm also going to right click on the waveform and convert shape to sine harmonics. Um, and I'm also, on the main tab, going to set the oversampling to 4. And the reason I'm doing both of these things is just to help prevent aliasing. So you don't necessarily have to do either of those steps, but it does prevent aliasing and kind of clean up the sound, which, uh, in my opinion, is better. And so once I've done that, I'm going to add a volume envelope. And so that's in operator 1, volume and envelope. You want to enable the envelope and then take the attack all the way down, the sustain all the way down, and I'm going to take the release all the way down as well. So you should have something like this. And then I might adjust the decay later on, but for now that's how I'm keeping it. And then I'm going to go into the pitch envelope. So same thing, operator 1, pitch envelope, turn it on, and then this one I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. And what I'm going to do is take this point here at the beginning of the envelope up to 50% uh, towards the top. And then I'm going to right click this point here and select the stairs option. And then I'm just going to adjust that until it looks the way I want it to. Um, so you can see right here it's starting um, immediately up, which means I've gone the wrong way. So I want to go up and it should look like this, where it starts off flat and then uh, kind of jumps up. And then I'm just going to grab this point and bring it all the way up and then delete this last point. And so now what I have sounds like this. And if you want to add more steps to the blip kind of sound, you can just adjust the tension setting and um, you know just set the number of steps you want. And if you want the pitch of the blip sound to always be matching the note that you're playing on the keyboard, you want to adjust the pitch envelope as you adjust the number of steps. Um, so basically the pitch envelope should be set to 1200 times the number of steps uh, aside from the first one. Because the first one is going to be the original pitch and then each step will go up by 1200 cents or 12 semitones, which is an octave. So in this case, I'm going up two times. So I want two times 1200, which is 2400. And you can see that up here. Um, so it's 2400. And so you can hear now that each step is playing the same note, just octaves apart. And then you can adjust the timing of that uh, pitch envelope by adjusting the attack. And if you want to, you can also go back into the volume and adjust the decay. Uh, it just depends on the kind of sound you want. And you know, if you want to add more steps, you can do the same thing, kind of bump that up to four steps, and then bump this up to 3600. And from this point, you can just you know adjust everything however you want to. And if you don't want the pitch to constantly be in tune with the key that you're playing, uh, you can adjust the number of steps to not kind of match with the pitch envelope, as I was talking about before. And you can get some cool sounds that way. It really just comes down to your opinion if you want it to really match that pitch or not. Yeah. 
And so, you know, just by adjusting these envelopes, adjusting the pitch envelope, you can get some, you know, really different sounds and some really cool sounds, I think. So that's pretty much it for this video, um, but a quick summary, you know, set operator 1 to whatever wave shape you want. I personally really like how square wave sounds. Add a volume envelope that just is basically a downward decay envelope with the volume. And then most importantly, set the pitch envelope and make sure you're using the steps option for that um, curve mode. And then you can set the number of steps and the pitch envelope to be relative to each other or not, depending on um, how you want it to sound. But yeah, you know, that's all there is to it. Um, hopefully this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you thought it was helpful, please be sure to leave a like and maybe a comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe and have a look around. I've already uploaded a bunch of tutorials and I try to release new ones every week. I also do my best to keep things pretty organized so that you can find what you're looking for a bit more easily. So thanks again guys for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you next time.